Hey guys, today I'm not showing you a new 3D printed puzzle, although I am showing you a new puzzle, but not from me. This is an unboxing video for a puzzle made by Casey, aka Twisty Tex. So here we go. I've been expecting this one for a while, so I'm thrilled to show it today. Uh, also, for the first time on my YouTube channel, I'm actually doing an unboxing video, and I did not forget my X-Acto knife, so this is gonna help. Uh, Alright, so let's, let's open this up and see what's inside. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the upside. Yep. Alright, so let's see. Casey's packaging is always so well made, it's incredible. I, I really like receiving packages from Casey. Plus, well, you know, plus there's a, a pretty insane puzzle on the inside, so that's great too. You know? Alright, so let's see. So, 3x5x7 bump cuboid. So the reason he sent me this is because, well, I was the first one to make a 3x5x7 in the first place. Mine was 3D printed though. Uh, this one is, uh, well, technically it, it's also uh, 3D printed because it's extensions um, on a, on a Shengshu 7x7. Uh, so, this is a bumped version of the 3x5x7 cuboid made by bandaging a Shengshu 7x7 base cube and gluing on 3D printed extensions, as I said. The extension created both the shape-shifting aspect as well as the bumping each face in steps of 3mm. Now, Casey, I think that's insane because it's already, uh, like, called the ultimate shapeshifter and you just made it bumped so it's gonna be even more of a shapeshifter uh, so some internal faces have thin layers plastic sheeting applied to bring the surface flush with the base puzzle pieces others are just sanded in increasing grits up to 240 grit and then buffered buffed sorry with polishing bags so this puzzle has been looped with Martian lube and tensioned but some additional lube might be beneficial all right so all right so this is uh, the capture super glued. It's it's more like info uh, for me, I think. So, all right. So uh, by the way, there's no paint on this puzzle. Uh, everything that's uh, every dark color that you see is actually the plastic that's been really well sanded by Casey. He always does an amazing job at sanding the the plastic. All right. So I'm not gonna I'm gonna put this aside uh, since I already have a bottle of Martian lube, um, and I'm gonna leave it with the puzzle since uh, this is a. Uh, I'm just borrowing this. I'm gonna give it to the next person in line later on. Uh, I think it's gonna go uh, around the world. So, so let's see. A bump three by five by seven. I, I, I'm really excited to see this. Plus, knowing the quality of Casey's puzzles, this can only be good. All right. So that is really well packed. Um, very sturdy packaging. All right, I'm gonna try to leave the package relatively intact so I can pack it up easily again later. All right. Wow. A bump three by five by seven. This is huge. This is. Let me see if I can go and fetch my three by five by seven in my in my bag because I still haven't uh, brought them home from Dutch Cube Day. And uh, all right. So this is my three by five by seven. It's already quite big. I mean, this is a regular Rubik's cube. Well, no, this is the two-faced cube, but it's a regular sized Rubik's cube. And on the on the on the side, you get you get this huge thing right here that's the size of my hand. And now this is about the same size, except much thicker. So now let's see how it turns. And I, I just know how it turns already because I, I know the quality of Casey's puzzles, and I think it's amazing. So let's see what he did with this. Oh wow. Wow, this is way... I didn't even think it was possible to make a smoother FDM printed puzzle than his uh, Bump 4x4, but it is. This puzzle is incredibly smooth. Wow. This is outstanding. This is incredible work, Casey. You, you've outdone it yourself again. Like, this is, this is incredible. So, let's see how the Bump uh, aspect is... Um, on this puzzle. So it's a relatively small bump. Uh, you can barely see the difference in, in height. So I, I think the solve would be kind of difficult, uh, maybe, because it's it, it would be hard to differentiate between the different sizes um, of different layers. And uh, But overall, I think it's, it's, it's still sufficient. Uh, you can see the bump here. And uh, since every layer is perfectly sanded down, uh, you can clearly uh, see the differences between different layers. All right, so let's do a checkerboard pattern because this is, after all, an n by n by n with n being an odd number. So, so it's obviously possible to make a checkerboard. So this is what the checkerboard pattern looks like. Um, 
this is uh, this is quite impressive. Uh, not only is this a three by five by seven, but it's uh, you know an even more shape shifting three by five by seven. So that's great. And Casey, seriously, good job on the uh, on the finishing. It's it's as incredible as all your puzzles, but it is incredible. Uh, you can still see the mechanism of the seven by seven if you look closely. Let me see if I can get a zoom in on that. Uh, you can see the parts. I don't know if you can see this, but. Um, but yeah, you can still see the the seven by mech by seven mechanism on the outside. Now let me show you how it shape shifts because this is always uh, really impressive uh, on three by five by sevens. You can get some pretty crazy shape shifting like this, for example, or like this, or even like that. And um, if I'm not mistaken, there is one type of shapeshifting that I really like. It's when you do you, 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 you. I don't even know how you could call those layers, but when you start mixing it up like that, it gets pretty crazy, and uh, and it, it it just shapeshifts insanely, like really fast. So, and it gets pretty scary. So <laughs> I'm not going to go any further than that. Um, I think. Well, I, the thing is, I'm not sure I can solve this. Because I, I don't even know if I can solve my own, I have never tried, believe it or not. Uh, cuboids aren't my favorite puzzles, even though uh, most of the puzzles that I've made are cuboids um, in the past. I, I have maybe 30 cuboids, um, you can see it on my uh, on the Twisty Puzzles Museum. Um, but yeah, it's uh, I really like that one because it's just so high quality. And the fact that it's handmade and that it reaches this level of quality always impresses me. So. Thanks again, Casey, for lending me this. I really, really enjoy this. Um, I'm maybe going to make a solving video, but I'm going to be honest, I have to think about it because I'm too scared to do so. So this is the 3x5x7 by Casey Weaver, aka Twisty Tex. Feel free to check out his channel. I've put the link in the description below. He is an amazing modder, so go check him out. And uh, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to subscribe to my social networks as well, also in the description below. And uh, yeah, so uh, enjoy the end of your weekend, and uh, I'll see you next week with some more videos.